is happening? What's good? Good afternoon. What's happening? Great. Salutations. Good to be back. Missed you guys last week. So it's good to be back in the saddle. Glad you can make it. I know we're now we're another man down this week. Yeah. Yeah. Jay's at the, um, the I, I think it's the Grant Car Cardone. Wait, I could be wrong. It is. Um, Car it's Cardone. Yeah, it is. OK. OK. Yeah. So, yeah, he, he bought the 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 platinum mastermind, whatever level that is, where you have all access to all the events on acquiring uh, multifamily uh, real estate. So Mike, him, myself, we've been digging pretty hard into, into that. Um, you know, we've, I've done multiple. In fact, when I, when I'm done with this call, I'm going to be sending some cash for an investment that I'm, I'm helping out with like a hard money thing. Um, it's not a lot, but what we're really focused on is, is really trying to find multifamily apartment buildings <clears throat> that have some room in it for, um, you know, capital improvements. And so we can, we can, you know, get our higher valuation and, and get a nice return on the investment. So the underwriting of it is, is really the key. You know, you have to be disciplined, know what you're doing to underwrite, you know, a 50 unit apartment building. How many of those units need new bathrooms? How many of those units need new kitchens? Mm. flooring, paint, whatever that starts to go beyond the realm of my, you know, expertise, but luckily I got partners and, uh, you know, that we've been doing these deals with that like Caleb Pearson, who can, um, who can underwrite those pretty accurately, real accurately. I know, uh, I have another one with, uh, Nick good, Nick good. And I did one down in, um, in Waco, sure. Texas. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, you know, finding good partners is 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 a real good first step if that's something you're 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 looking to invest in. And then the second step is to dig in and, you know, learn for yourself, you know. Yeah. You don't want to just be trusting everyone else to run numbers. You want to be able to do those yourself. So that's what we're kind of focused on. Yeah, no, that's a great it's a great point. I know um you know, of course Jana uh, Olsen, who, you know, she's she's a tremendous resource. Um, you know, long time great, great human being, great connection, you know, for us through, you know, early days with model my home and then the staging association. And then now she's so deep in, into that world. Obviously Nick, uh, Nick good has lived that world. Obviously very, very, you know, good friend of ours. Uh, you know, you mentioned Caleb. So we've got a lot of great resources. So if you guys are out there and you're hearing this message, it's, it's something that you feel, you want to get into, reach out to us. Um, you know, we'll, we'll definitely get you connected with the right people. It's all about connections. It's all about who's and, um, you know, really being able to, to navigate the, the opportunities that are out there. Yeah. What you'll end up finding is once you identify someone who's interested in that, um, the opportunities will start to find you. Mm -hmm. And it's a matter of, you know, you can't say yes to all of them. So, yeah. you know, you, you got to get into a, a level of comfort with your knowledge and expertise and with the relationship that you're doing the, the partnership with. Um, there's a general partner and a limited partner. The general partner is the one that puts the deal together and there's more upside in it for them, generally speaking. Uh, and then the limited partners kind of the position I've taken for the, for the past couple of years <clears throat> where, you know, you basically write the check and you're trusting that your general partners have done the due diligence. Of course you can still look at all the numbers and, you know, you usually look at an investor deck that breaks everything down as a presentation. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah. Reach out to us. Um, we always have deals coming across our desk and, and, you know, most of them we have to say no to not because we want to, it's just, it's not like we have infinite amount of money. Yeah. So you got to pick and choose. I know that um, Gadosh was actually the one that introduced us to this model and that was through his friend, uh, Larry uh, Connor. Yeah. And Larry Connor has an, an immense portfolio of very specific A-class multifamily that he's focused on for the past probably 30 to 40 years. And he's uh, made himself a billionaire because of it. So I know Andrew's invested with him and he's never had an investment go, go south since Andrew. And Andrew's typically a very conservative investor. So, uh, you know, and the returns are pretty, pretty fat, you know, somewhere over between 15 and 17%. It's a, great, it's a great point too, Al, what, what you were saying, right? And you look at, you know, kind of, you know, the season, maybe the season of your life, the season of your career and, and being able to, to find that threshold, right? You look at, you know, um, a guy like, um, 
uh, you know, a guy like, um, you know, Caleb, you know, young guy, you know, different season of his life, be a little more aggressive. Um, you look at, you know, you know, Andrew, who's typically, yeah, like you said, very, a lot more conservative, um, you know, Nick, good, usually black and white right by the numbers. What's it, what's, you know, not, not going to emotionally get tied to it. It's going to be very logical in it. So I think finding that personality, finding who you align with, finding who you, you know, um, where, where, where the trust can immediately align, I think is, is the key thing. So it's, uh, it's good. Well, yeah, I think another, another good one tip since we're kind of on this is that, yeah. you know, do your, do your first, first deal, you know, as a limited partner, um, with, with somebody that, that doesn't really need your money. And what I mean by that is like, if you find, you know, something comes across your, your, your way where they seem a little desperate for the money, you know, like in other words, you know, they, they can't find enough investors to hit it. That could be a red flag. I'm not saying it is every time. I'm saying it could be a red flag of that you're not dealing with an, an experienced general partner who who can raise cash. I know like some of the people we're doing stuff with, they're like if if someone says to you, "Hey man, you know John, you know it's it's a hundred thousand minimum to to get in on this investment, um, but if you don't want to do it, no sweat. You know we we got a line of people you know ready to do it. It's all good. That's the type you would want to, you know move forward especially for your new one with you don't want to do it when it's tight and they're having trouble raising the money and i've run into situations that way you know that that's the case and for me that's just a little red flag yeah. like all right well if he's having trouble finding other people to, to throw down because there, here's what i've learned there is an unlimited amount of cash out there it's it's ridiculous you just have to know where to look and when you do find the group of people who are you know their, their money's sitting in a money market, making them four to 5%, which is good for just sitting there doing nothing. But when it can be making you 13, 14, 18%, you know, it's about moving, moving the money where, where you're going to get the best return on that investment with the least amount of risk. So, um, you know, generally I would start with a partner who's done a, a, a dozen of these deals, at least knows how to underwrite, kind of a proven track record that they're paying out the quarterly dividends that they're saying that they have like on their other deals. And, um, and that's a good place to start. I think. No, that's a great, it's a great point. And, and I think there's some, there's some, you know, principles there that you're talking about. And, and, you know, I mean, it's, it's just doing some honey badger stuff, but on, on the investment side of things. And, and then, you know, where my mind goes when I, you know, when I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you, you know, I'm always just trying to pull the principle out and, you know, where, where, where does that apply other, other places? And I think it, um, it, 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 it applies within, you know, kind of, kind of the community and the alignment right now within, within the real estate space. And I think um, on, on the residential working with, you know, buyers and sellers and, and um, a lot of chatter, out there. I, I don't know the best word to maybe sum up um, a lot of the noise um, that's happening out there. But, you know, I think the biggest thing is, is always seek, seek truth, right? Find the facts. What are, what are the facts that we know um, out there right now, especially with hearing, you know, how, how this is going to be aligned, how this is going to happen. And I um, did a great call with, with Andrew and his crew and had uh, Jim Pruitt and, um, you know, a few of the the heavy listing side that dominate their markets, right? I think Jim Pruitt might dominate his market better than anybody that I've ever seen outside of like Gaydosh, 100% market share on the lake. <clears throat> but you you move into a small, you know, community town, you know, Madison, Indiana, and, you know, Jim's market share is off the charts, but he focuses on listings. And just as matter of fact of way of, of um, you know, navigating through uncertainty is um, something to pay attention to. So I think like you, you, to your point, right. If, 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 if you don't know and you're seeking and you're trying to figure it out, you know, find, find those that are, that are kind of paving the way. Like you said, there's, there's a, a, a so many, especially in this organization, it makes me, it, it's why we do expert mentors, right? When, why we do expert mentors every, every Wednesday and we have for five years and we will continue is because 
there's so many people that want to give and, and, and all you have to do is just be willing to, to ask and receive and the information's there. And yeah. so I think, you know, anybody listening into this that's struggling with anything in their business um, and, and mostly it's a way to, to, way to, to think about things. Dude, I had um, I had one of my golfers. So I think there was a, there was a four year stretch when I moved back from California that I helped my dad with his with his golf team, and um, you know just just it was it was a really cool experience to be able to do that with him. You know, I mean he coached he coached golf for over thirty years, um, and so just being able to 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 do that for four years with them, I was going to do it for three, but. I had two freshmen that begged, you know, just dude, you got to coach us our senior year. And I was like, of course I have to, but I had one of the kids, um, you know, lives in, uh, lives in Alabama, um, reach out to me about, you know, thinking about another career, thinking about, you know, he's tired of corporate America. And, um, you know, I think this is where having, you know, great, great mentors or great people around you. And he was wanting to start something from scratch. And we just had a great conversation and I just challenged his thinking and think about, think about, you know, the goal a, a little bit differently. And so, you know, I, I share that out to, to kind of convey the message here to the honey badger nation that, you know, sometimes you just need a conversation to change the way you're thinking about the about the situation and, and help you get clear on what the goal really is. And so if either it's investing, it's how to handle buyers, how to handle sellers, how to how to grow your team, how to how to do whatever. There's not a shortage of great humans and great mentors within the Honey Badger Nation that are just willing to give and willing to help. And you just can't be afraid to just ask. Well, absolutely, man. Yes, sir. Hey, if anybody has any questions, pop it into the uh, the comments. We're here for you today. Usually we're, uh, we're we're going down the agent attraction rabbit hole, but we started out on the investment side today. So hopefully some of that was some, uh, was of value to you. Yeah. Uh, that's what we're here to do, just to give value. So um, pop a question in if you got one. What's going I think, on? Um, you know, on the agent attraction side of things, I would love to hear because I know you 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 are having, you know, you have more conversations in, in that regard. You know, for me, it's a lot of conversations with the agents helping them solve problems. And, you know, there's there's the biggest void that I see um, and I've seen Al for for quite some time. There's there's two big voids um, in the real estate space. One is a lack of leadership. And then the other void is a skills. There's a skills void. And, and so I think, and, and truth be told, leadership is a skill. So if you want to get down to it, you know, there's just a skill void in, in the industry. And so I think, um, you know, finding organizations um, and, and guys, right? Like Honey Badger Nation has all the resources for you. So, I mean, go to honeybadgernation.com. Everything's there for you. All the stuff that we do is 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 value add to help overcome any challenges. But um, you know, from the increase of head 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 you know count type of things, man, it's just providing leadership. It's providing skill. It's providing community. It's providing a, a sense of 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 community. And you know, everybody that I've seen that typically that legitimately leaves to go to another platform. That's not just a jumper, right? We're not talking about a jumper, a newer, a newer agent that just jumps, 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 but people that legitimately move large organizations, man, it's a, it's a lack of community. It's a lack of leadership. It's a lack of sense of direction and sense of collaboration. And so I think, you know, I, I just, I, I want to keep saying that. I know I've said it. I know you've said it. I know kin Kinder said it. It's like, guys, like you have to lead. And in times of uncertainty, you have to lead even more, right? Connect and reach out to your people and, and you know, make sure they're, they're, you know, knowing that somebody's there and in their corner to help them navigate through whatever there is that, that they're trying to navigate through. I mean, <clears throat> I think, I think the other lesson in there, John, is you got to lead yourself. You know, you got to lead yourself <laughs> to get on the call every Wednesday for expert mentors. You got to lead yourself to get on the call every Thursday to listen to Wally to build your skills. <laughs> And Fridays, if you want to learn how to build funnels with, with Braden, you know, these are the three things, you know, the, that inspiration from seeing someone who's doing it at a high level, they're opening up their playbook, take what they're giving you. You know, it's, it's almost like we were talking about it with Tina call um, and Veronica the other day <clears throat> about all the things that we, we offer a lot of them for free, 
therefore they don't get a good value put to them, you know, because no one's stroking the check for them. But if they were paying, you know, four or five hundred, six hundred dollars a month, which is what they used to charge in order to have access to CHBA, CH, CHSA, then they're gonna they're gonna go through those trainings two or three times because they paid for them. Yes. Not. So it's kind of a catch twenty two. We're trying to make it available to everybody, but you got to get in there. You got to get in there, take the trainings, and and um, and then attend the live trainings, which I think are the most valuable because you get to ask questions and see things in real time. So it is such a catch, yeah. man. You know, I think back through like even all the the boot camps that we did over the years. You know, the ones that we charged the most money were the best ones, right? You and, and the lesson is you pay, you pay attention, and um, it could be of such value or not. But if you invest yeah. in it, you're going to try to extract as much out of it as you possibly can. And, um, you know, yeah. yeah that was the case even for, for, for Jay with this Grant Cardone thing, I think it was over 20 or $30,000. Mm -hmm. When you stroke that check, you commit, <laughs> you know, you're yeah. not going to not commit after that. You're like, right. like, I already paid for this. I'm going, you know, yeah. it, it works at every level. So it does, you know, but it does. unfortunately or fortunately for everyone here in this community, those two trainings are free. So pretend like we just charge you $3,000 for them because that's what they're, they're worth way more than that. Way more. Get in there and, get in there and, and take them. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you just had a uh, kitchen table in Pittsburgh. How'd that I did. Go? I did. You know, the feedback and I, I went into, yeah. um, you know, Matt um, and DJ, Matt Durbin, and, and DJ Fairley, I went into their office. So we we changed it up just because, honestly, you know, I'm in Pittsburgh. Uh, we know for what reason. But also, you know, Matt and DJ are there. And um, Durb has a family trip that they do to Key West every year. And so I, we typically do kitchen table on Thursday, Friday. And um, he was in Key West. So we moved it to Monday, Tuesday. And so Wednesday, um, just – uh, went into the office, just kind of decompress with him, see what he thought. And um, he said, man, he goes, and, and, you know, DJ was, I mean, Matt and DJ were at KT number one, right? So that was, that was our 14th KT. He was at KT number one and he's been to several um, throughout and he sat back and he goes, bro, he goes, I think it, that was the best one yet. And I said, I agree. And what we did, Al, we changed it up, right? You know, kitchen table is a, is a two day, you know, deep strategic dive, workshop, meaning you're doing exercises around clarity, vision, business model, strategy, people. And my objective is, is that, you know, you're coming in there with the intent to solve a particular situation, a particular constraint problem in, in your business. And then you leave with clarity, at least on that one thing, right? It's not full on strategy. You need to go through what are all the priorities and smart it out, but you, at least, you know, with certainty what you leave with and you leave with so much more. And um, when we did KT in December um, in, here in Frisco, um, Alex Piak was there and Alex pulled me aside and he said, bro, you got to bring the hot seats back. And I was like, shit, I know, I know. Cause I did, I did two, we did two, two hot seats in Texas and we did one when you were there in Pittsburgh last time. Right. And I was like, man, I know you're right. Cause it's something I've been thinking about. I said, I know you're right. I know you're right. And so we incorporated the hot seats into KT. So we did three on day one and three on day two and old school hot seats. Yeah, dude. Five, five minutes about your business, your values, your vision, 10 minutes on the best thing that's working to generate revenue in your business and 30 minutes on what is the biggest challenge constraint that you collectively want the entire room to help give you feedback and help you solve. Old school, 45 oh, minute. There's, there's not a better format, dude. And dude, it was amazing. And I, you know, obviously I was very strategic on who went up. So yeah. I had individual agent, I had, you know, a heavy, you know, 40 plus team brokerage. What, what's, what's, what's Hart? What are they? Number one, number two in the state of Ohio. Um, oh, John yeah. Hart. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I believe they were number one in Columbus. So you, you have them who, you know, heavy buy side, then you've got, you know, Matt and DJ who have over, you know, 40 agents that are focused on listing side. And then you have a mid-sized team with Kyle Swanson and Dan Kingsley and Rochester. And then you've yeah. got, you know, somebody that led 
an, a team of over 60 that is thinking about, right? So it's just different perspectives that you get within that format. And I think we nailed it out. I really do. So we're, um, you know, we run, we run KT every 90 days um, because that's, that's the rhythm that we have to operate in with, from a priority standpoint, you can only strategize about every 90 days. And so that's why we do it every 90 days. That's how our brains work. Our brains can't really go beyond that. So we have to recalibrate, reset, refocus, recommit every 90 days. And that's why we do KT. So we're back in, we're back in Pittsburgh in June, June 20th and 21st. Um, Pirates are in town. So, you know, we'll have a, we'll have some fun, a little baseball. And I think MLB's number one baseball part, um, I've been voted again, number one baseball park. So I know we got, um, you know, some event, we got some stuff coming up, but June 20, 21st, we're going to rock the same agenda. We're going to, we're going to go back through, you know, the strategic workshop incorporated in with the mastermind and the, in the hot seats. And so I'm excited to, to run it, run it again at halftime, right. You know, as we head into the halftime of, of the year. Awesome. 21, 22, no, 20, 20 and 20, the 20th and 21st. Yep. Thursday, Friday. So you guys listening in, I mean, if you want some more information, just hit me up. Al's been um, seat at the kitchen table has all the information seat at the kitchen table. You can hit me up. Um, You can hit up, you know, whatever. Love to have you join us. I think, um, you know, uh, you know, heart, obviously baby on the way, he's not going to be able to be there. Um, And so I know, you know, Joel Perso usually is in attendance. He's baby on the way. So we got two new, two new dads. Um, So excited for them. And uh, they'll be uh, obviously not being able to, to, to make this one, but um, no, we'll have a, have a definitely have a room of rock stars, but more so out just, just a room full of just great human beings that are there to give. Um, They're also there to to learn and solve their, their challenges, but they're really there. um, You know, the room, it, you you saw it. You saw how fast the room got vulnerable um, immediately, and uh, it's yeah. just because everybody's there on the same mission. It ain't about you know, look at me. It's about how can we help each other grow. Well, I mean that's your superpower, John. So I mean, anybody listening to this that wants to, you're, you're feeling stuck in your business and you need to get around some inspiration. Get get to the next ki- kitchen table. I'll just put it in my calendar. Uh, yeah. I don't think there's anything. I was supposed to go to Nashville those two days, but that, that's up in the air. If I'm don't, then I'm going there. So come to Pittsburgh. It's, yep. um, you know, location's perfect. It's right on, right on, right, right across on the sixth street bridge, right across from PNC park, um, which at the Renaissance hotel, right across the street, right, literally right across the bridge. I mean, looking out into PNC park, it's, um, it's, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Cool, man. All right, bud. Well, thank you. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you jumping in. Love Tell it. the fam. We love them. Thanks for letting us, pull you away for a little bit. And um, all you guys out there, if you have any, any challenges, questions, hit us up. Um, obviously, as you guys know, um, honeybadgernation.com is the go-to resource and we will see you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. See you.